hello to everybody. I've been astonished about the situation of organic farming in Europe and globally for quite some time. For we have talking and talking and talking about it for decades and still the percentage uh, ratio, even though it's increasing, is relatively slow and not uh, meeting the 20%, not to talk about going rapidly beyond that. And there must be something wrong in our system when it comes to common agricultural policy, our chemical legislation, our consumer uh, uh, protection, our pesticides regulation, our use uh, of uh, fertilizers and all that when we are not getting it right. And of course, international trade, just to mention Mercosur uh, agreement as a, one example of it, are quite often as a structure and content uh, not favoring national and European good production habits and higher uh, prices. So why the organic farming is so important? It is not just a question, the matter of preferences. I prefer red instead of a blue, type of a question of blueberries um, uh, to uh, strawberries. It is a question about seeking the sustainability on agriculture. That means circularity in these, uh, in the uh, 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 treatment of the land, the soil, and that actually keeps the soil uh, living, a healthy ecosystem that can also bind uh, CO2 out of the air. It is a question of fertilizers, nutrition, how you can base them on organic uh, levels and organic models, and by that way, not wasting a precious resource and causing other uh, harmful impacts like for the CO2 by transportation or then the hazardous metals uh, that quite often are commuted by the fertilizers, not to talk about nano and micro microplastics also. Okay, so we know somewhere the method, how you can be circular in nutrition cycle, how you can bind the CO2 back to the uh, uh, soil. You know how you can farm so that you can enhance the biodiversity. And you know how you can produce better quality, better tasting food. And you can actually treat animals better and you can create a living and thriving sector of organic farming of uh, free range uh, uh, herding of uh, animals. And that again, in some extent, can go to fisheries also. So, in Europe, I think that we should set the target of having 40% after six years organic farming. And the target should be 60% in public procurement. And actually I think that we should use the public procurement as this kind of a pulling effect, how we increase the organic farming and its ratio. And uh, the Fr uh, French initiative of uh, setting, uh, setting uh, standards and setting uh, thresholds for organic production in public procurement is a good model, even though I would go in that kind of a direction gradually. So by 20 uh, to, let's say, 20% or 21, 20%, then 30%, then 40%, then 60%, then uh, 50%, then 60 So that the uh, farmers can uh, increase, adjust and adapt I think that we should gradually increase so that beyond half of our public procurement of the food is organic. And that then again leverages the production and the possibilities for food industries to have a separate lines uh, of uh, production for organics. That needs to be reflected on the subsidy side too. 
That means that the agricultural subsidies should be geared more to transitional costs and uh, be adjusted to the amount of thinking 20, 30 and then up to the 40 percent of the production within less than 10 years uh, in organic. And by gradually stepping, getting the industries, getting the public procurement, getting the consumers and getting the restaurants to use the organic model, I think that we can at last make the breakthrough of organic production in Europe for us. It's better for the animals, it's better for the nature, it's better for the people working in the farms, and it's better for businesses and it's better for consumers and for all of us who eat the food. We can afford it, we can do it and hopefully we do it.